Oh, you already know what time it is. <laughs> Who's ready to thrift with me? I am here outside of Guy's Frenchies, Guy's Frenchies, or Frenchies, if you want to be fancy. And I'm honestly like a little bit scratching my head wondering why are there so many cars here? There are actually more cars in this parking lot that I've ever seen before. Like even worse than back to school season. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a special day at Frenchies maybe or something. Honestly, I have no idea, but I'm going to go in there. I'm going to do a little shopping. I'm looking for everyone. We are in a season where my kids won't stop growing. It's continuously happening, even though I would rather some of them slow down a bit. I have no control over that. Um, actually, I'm growing a little bit too. I'm going to, I'm trying to do something about that, but only with love. I'm trying to do something with love so I can continue to eat ice cream when I want to. <laughs> But I want to wear clothes that make me feel comfortable, like this tunic that I got at Giant Tiger. It is a 3X. It's the first time I'm wearing it. Oh, I just spilled a little water. No big deal. Um, I love this. Like, I love it. And I want to continue to be able to dress myself in a way that I can be my most confident self. And I literally think that's, that's cool. Like, that's cool. You can wear what you feel comfortable in. And while you're feeling comfortable, you'll be looking good. You'll be happy. You'll be vibing. And that confidence will just come so easily in this orange ass tunic. I love it. <laughs> So I'm going to look for me. I'm going to look for the kids. I'm going to look for my honey and I'm going to pick up some stuffies for my dog as well. That's the plan. I think I might go to Value Village too. I'm feeling naughty. So <laughs> let's go. Let's have some fun. I'm happy you guys are here with me. Since I've been thrifting especially it's been a hot minute since I went thrifting with myself and that's what I call therapy thrifting therapy because when you go by yourself and you're like stress-free and you just get to like look around and find some deals find some memories unlock some childhood memories finding a toy you used to play with like that glow worm glow worms were a thing and actually they brought them back I think we bought a glow worm for Winnie, maybe one for the boys too, I can't remember, but they were gone for a really long time and glow worms always bring back like a really special memory. Um, anyways, at Frenchies, I spent $44.61 and at Value Village, I only spent $18.36. So, not bad, not bad at all. And I really did find some really fun things. I'm going to continue thrifting, especially for back to school clothes, um, basically from here on out. Um, I'm probably gonna try to get in once a week, if not once every other week. We'll see how it goes. I hope the kids don't bother you. They don't bother me, they're not fighting. They're having fun. Um, the first thing I found was this Chicago Bulls shirt. This is a men's small, and um, the Bulls aren't either of my boys' favorite teams. 
but it's an NBA team and my boys love the NBA. So to me, in my head, any NBA find that I find, <laughs> any find that I find, um, I pick it up every time because I know they'll like it. And anytime they come shopping with me, they're into all the teams, okay? There's not one team like, but sorry to any Boston Bruins fans, we hate the Boston Bruins. Like, Curtis and I have said multiple times, like, should we just buy that so we can take it home and burn it? We're Leafs fans, okay? So now you know why. <laughs> Nothing against you. I just don't like Brad Marchand, even though he lives down the street. You know what I'm saying? He's a freaking maritime boy. He likes people, okay? So I just can't. I can't with him. Anyways, I got this for Coop. I'm not gonna make him save it for back to school. It is already kind of like a little bit worn, but it's just a shirt he can add to his summer wardrobe. I found a few shirts for Skylar, and Skylar actually wears the same size as Curtis now, um, even though Curtis is, you know, 35 and uh, Skylar's 14. You know, they're wearing the same size. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of weird because, like, now if I find something, it's like, who should I give it to, Curtis or Skylar? I think these are all for Skylar. When I saw them, I had him in mind. But if Curtis wants to lay claim on one of them before Skylar sees them, then he's welcome to do that. Um, I found this really nice Adidas shirt. Skylar is planning on playing on the soccer team, well, trying out for the soccer team, but I think we all know he'll probably make it. My son is extremely athletic. Um, anyways, I actually think he's gonna go out to be goalie because apparently the goalie graduated this year. They didn't have a soccer team this year. He's in grade nine. Um, or was in grade nine schools out now for him. Um, but he absolutely would have been on the team had they have a team, had they have had a team um, because of COVID, they only did basketball and volleyball and he was on both of those teams. Um, so anyways, this is an immense large. Um, I think it's about five to $6 for a shirt. The lady that I had as the cashier at Frenchie's today, she was epic. Like she was so fast. I couldn't even see what she was doing. She was just like, dip, 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 dip. and they don't have like a scanning code. It's literally, they have like, it's actually kind of old school. They have um, a laminated piece of paper <laughs> that has um, how much things cost. And they have like a certain code that they put in or the number that they put in and there you go. It's like literally, I don't think that's changed since I was a teenager shopping in Frenchies. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of neat. Anyways, not everything has to move so quickly. You know what I mean? Like, some things can stay vintage, you know? <laughs> I'm fine with that. I also found this really nice Adidas shirt. I actually think it might be a little too tight on Curtis. Anyways, this is a small men's large. Um, but anyways, I thought it would be good, especially for soccer. Um, and then I found this one for Skylar, which I know he's going to love. He's not here right now. He just went biking. I just said to Curtis, like, where the heck is Skylar? Because I've been home for like an hour and didn't even realize he wasn't here. You know, Kurt, uh, Cooper's still at school, but I Skylar's not at school anymore. And I just kind of felt like a bad mom, like not knowing where my kid was. But anyways, <laughs> I found this cute, cute. I mean, it's not, it's not cute. Um, this sick, I found this sick Boston Celtics shirt. Um, anyways, that... It says Irving. Who is it? Patrick Irving? I might, Patrick Ewing? I don't know. I don't, I'm sure Skylar knows who that is. I'm a Vince Carter fan, okay? <laughs> um, that, that's when I actually watch sports. Um, sports give me anxiety now, so I don't choose to watch them on my own. I will watch my kids play, of course, and hopefully we'll actually be able to physically go to games to watch them and not just have to watch the live stream because of COVID. Anyways, um, hopefully that will change this year, but like watching sports on TV stresses me out so bad because you don't always get the happy em ending. And like I said, relief fans. We haven't had a happy ending yet. They always lose. <laughs> and just when you think, this is the year, it's gonna happen. It doesn't happen. It's depressing, I know. Um, okay, I found these. These are uh, men's medium, but I have Cooper in mind. Cooper is actually still a men's small, um, but Cooper is against any um, 
any pants that aren't stretchy, any kind of like button, zip up, fly, no, he's not doing it. Doesn't have to be jeans. He definitely will never do jeans. Um, but also he won't do khakis. He won't do cargo pants unless they're stretchy. Actually, that's tied. They're stretchier than that too. Um, I don't blame him. He, his body's growing. So I don't blame him. And honestly, save your money and buy these anyways, because your kids grow and change their body types many times. And I find these like, it's surefire. It's stretchy, if you need it tighter, pull it tighter. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> All right, um, but I thought these were super cute and they look like not too worn out or anything. Um, and even if they are a little bit long, they go ankle at the ankles. So I got no problem with that. I think they'll be great. Got a little pocket on the butt, nice and wide. I think that he'll find them very comfortable, I hope. And even if he just wears them camping or around the house, why not, eh? I found these for myself. I'm excited. I found biker shorts, you guys. Um, double XL, no boundaries. I'm pretty sure this is um, Walmart, but in the States, I don't think we have that here. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try these on, but I'll try them on after. They seem like really stretchy. The only thing that might Oh no, I think they'll fit, but I'm not gonna try them on right now. The kids are right there. So I'll try them on after, but I am like excited because they are really, really soft. And like, it's a pattern, but this pattern doesn't offend me. Like, it's just like, it's kind of like a, a chill pattern. Like, it's kind of like, ooh. <sighs> I was so excited to find this. Like, Immediately, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I've seen so many crafts that people have done with old books on TikTok, on Pinterest. Um, but then when I got there, when I got there, when I met the book and could touch it <laughs> and it's been, um, I was like, okay, it's a little bit damaged right here. Tiny little bit of damage, but the inside, you guys, it's literally so perfect like i cannot cut this in any way it's the movie it's like like pictures from like i would i would i would buy this at full price like i would buy this in a store today if i had found it like this this is what books looked like in the 90s when i was little oh i absolutely oh i just love it so much I really do. And I can't, like, this is not a book that Winnie and I would sit down and read before bed because it's, like, super duper long. Um, but maybe, like, on a day when she's feeling sick, I could read it to her. Hope Like, we haven't been sick in so long, thanks to all the sanitizer and all the social distancing. It's actually been quite wonderful. Um, but there's no way I'm cutting this. Like, it's just so beautiful to me. And, like... I just love it. I just want to take good care of it. I think I will put like a little piece of tape here, um, just some clear tape, just so it doesn't get ripped anymore. But out of all of the things that I found today, this is absolutely my favorite find. I'm trying to find what year that it was made in. What does it say here? 1991. Holy, wow, how did this stay? How did this stay this good? 1991, you guys. I was six. This is crazy. I just feel so happy. I really do. It's a moment, you guys. Oh. I found a few things for the queen. Look at this beautiful. Um, is this Frozen 1 or Frozen 2? I probably can tell by looking at it. Frozen 1 because her dress is different and Frozen 2. Um, house coat. Isn't this cute? And it's in a size eight. And the one that she has right now is a size six. So this will grow, or this won't grow. She will grow. And then this will fit her better than the one she already has. I found this really cute um, from Target, Cat and Jack bathing suit. Unfortunately, because 
Canadians didn't jump at the chance to shop at Target like I did. Um, we don't have Targets here anymore and it's sad. So the only place that I can actually get um, Target stuff right now is shopping at Frenchies because I can't even cross the border to go shopping. But I found this bathing suit for Winnie. It's a one piece, it's adorable. It's a size eight. It's a little bit worn um, right here, but just barely. And she needs the bathing suits for swimming all summer long and swimming lessons. So we, I don't like putting on a wet, um, I was gonna say wet band-aid. I don't like putting on a wet bathing suit. Um, so I'm sure Winnie wouldn't like to put on a wet bathing suit either. So I like to have lots of options. So she doesn't have to put on a wet bathing suit. You know what I mean? Anyways, I feel the same way for me. There is nothing more gross and more moist feeling, <laughs> not in a good way, of putting on a cold, wet bathing suit. And then you have to like roll it to fit on your body. Ugh, not a good feeling. Um, and then I found this, which I thought was so cute. She actually really does, whoops, just dropped it. She actually really does need more t-shirts. Um, but I found this one. Winnie, do you wanna come see it? It says, you are awesome. <laughs> Come here, Winnie. It's sequins. Check it out. It's flippy sequins. It says, you are awesome. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh, do a good pattern. Yes. While you're here, Winnie, I'm going to show you something else that I got for you. But I have to wash it first, okay? You can't take it in your bed until it's washed and clean. Okay, close your eyes. <laughs> okay. What is it? A puggy! I could not leave it there. I knew you needed that little puggy. Isn't she so cute? Her name's Aurora. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? I also picked up Sully because we have Mike Wazowski downstairs. Cooper actually bought Mike Wazowski when we went to Disney World, but we don't have Sully. So I thought we needed to grab him because we actually found Boo at Valley Village the last I time we went. I because there's something in mommy's room. Ooh, yeah. But, but I thought there was one of those like a robot thing. Oh no, that's from Toy Story 4. Oh yeah, Toy Story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the bunny. Yeah, the bunny from Toy Story. Yeah. I also bought Timon for Jasper because, I mean, it's Timon. <laughs> He's so cute and Jasper actually loves little tiny things in his mouth. <laughs> I don't mean that inappropriately, but he like will rip the tail off of one of his toys and just walk around with the tail. So I really think he will like this. And then I also picked up for him this bird. He's, he, it's cute. <laughs> I just thought it's a stuffy, but there's not a ton of stuffing in it um, because Jasper does rip apart his stuffies. He doesn't eat any of the pieces, but he just rips them apart. So at least this one will be fun for him for today. And then when he pulls all the stuffing out of it, it won't be that much. So there won't be much cleanup for moi. You may be wondering, Miranda, where'd that noise go? <laughs> I made them go play downstairs. <laughs> Damn you, Curtis, for building the train set up here. <laughs> so at Value Village, I only got a few things, but I really like what I got. First of all, I think this is the best find that I found at Value Village because it's the Lightning McQueen. And if you've been with me for a while or you've gone back and watched some old videos, you'll know that I painted myself a Disney bathroom and I decorated that Disney bathroom with Disney things including um, a poster of cars and also Mater, like a, almost the same size as this, um, but Toe Mater, you know, Toe Mater without the Toe Mater. Anyways, this is perfect. It is literally in such good condition. And I know I'm going to put a toy on the shelf and I don't want the kids to play with it, but it's only because they ruin it. Okay. Like this is a shelf toy and I... $2.99 guys. It's going to be perfect. We'll put it in there together after I'm done showing you everything. Um, I also found this. They had a shit ton of softballs, like probably a hundred softballs. I don't, I don't know why. Like they, maybe somebody just unloaded a giant ball of bags, a ball of bags, bags of balls. <laughs> 
But anyways, this was the only one that actually had baseballs in it as well. So $2.99. Um, I know they're a little bit dirty, but they're not ripped or anything. And I just did buy um, Curtis for Father's Day a new ball glove and also some balls. And let me tell you, new balls this size, $9 and like 98 cents, like 10 bucks a ball. Yeah. So when I saw $2.99 for these three, looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> cute okay see i see disney everywhere guys anyways i thought that was a really um good thing for me to buy and i'm sure curtis won't mind having a couple more balls around the house um okay this i'm excited because i don't know what's in here okay 3.99 the reason that i bought it is because it's got two spongebob things completely wrapped i don't know what they are it says spongebob movie the SpongeBob movie, again, I don't know if it's like, it might just be like a Happy Meal toy, but like I bought, oh wait, I said, I could have just looked on the back. Okay, it looks like they're keychains. Okay, I'm excited, let's find out. Okay, I got two of these. Okay, maybe it's Mr. Krabs, because it actually says Mr. Krabs, so I'm guessing it's probably Mr. Krabs, but I'm really excited, you guys. I love SpongeBob. He just makes me happy. He brings back so many good memories. It is Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh, I think these are like the Wendy's toys. Are these from Wendy's? I think because actually a couple people sent me these. I didn't know that it was like a big toy thing. That is so adorable. I just had to know what was in there, guys. I love it. Mr. Krabs. And then I don't have this one. Sandy. <gasps> Sandy cheeks. Ugh. Come on, baby. I suck at opening packages. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> I really do suck at opening packages. Look at Sandy. She's so little. Oh, it's baby Sandy. Oh, cute. And it comes with like a little sticker. That is so cute. All right, there's a couple more toys in here. Um, this looks like it's one of the Mr. Men and Mr. Mrs. Little Mrs. and Mr. Men. I can't remember. Anyways, this is Bump, I think. Bumpy. The boys used to watch this. Anyways, I kind of thought it was an annoying show. They're cute, but the show itself was... Oh, we're coming to the parade. Oh, 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 oh. Like, I just... Oh, oh. oh somebody needs a tickle. <laughs> now you know why I like SpongeBob so much. Because it's actually funny and it's not irritating, okay? We only had one DVD with those Mr. Men and Mr. Mrs. whatever. Um, ugh, I definitely lost that on purpose. <laughs> I definitely, I don't know where it went, guys. Like, sorry, the case is here, but the DVD's gone. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Here's um, Sylvester that came out of this little package. Um, I'm just going to open all, well, maybe I won't open all of them. Maybe I'll let, well, this one's already open. Okay. I don't know who this is. The Amazing World of Gumball. Never heard of it. Oh, look, there's two of him. Okay. There's another one. Um, who is this? Oh, Winnie actually would probably really like this. Oh, it's little as pet shop. She will totally like this. Oh, and it's a kitty. You guys, it's a little kitty ring. That's so cute. Winnie will love it. And then another reason why I wanted to buy this bag is because of this Rubik's thing. My boys are big into Rubik's cubes and I don't know. It looks a little bit different because it's not a cube, but I'm going to give this to Skylar. Actually, I kid you not. Skylar um, learned how to do Rubik's cubes by um, downloading an app on his phone, which told him what moves to make. Like he can fill in the app, what colors he sees on every side, and then it will tell him exactly which steps to do to get to the finished product of like the color filled on every side. Anyways, it's really weird. <laughs> My dyslexic brain can't even think about it, but he does it and it works. It's kind of like magic to me. I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason. It's probably a mathematical thing, but again, like I passed math because people like me, not because I'm smart enough to pass math. <laughs> then the last thing that I got is this. I know what these are because we have three different versions of this. We have a Mickey and Minnie one, 
we have, or not a Mickey and Minnie, a Minnie and Daisy one. Um, we have uh, a little princess girl one. And what's the other one? Like, it's just like Melissa and Doug, random like kids. It's not actually like a character. I can't remember what the third one is. Maybe we only have two. I honestly can't remember. But I saw this one and normally they're in a big wooden tray and every piece is like kept organized. That's how we keep ours downstairs on the game shelf. Um, but somebody must have just dumped all of these out and put to put them in the bag is my guess. And they probably just threw out the boxes. That's what I'm guessing. But maybe the people that donated them threw out the boxes. But there are four princesses in here and there are a bunch of princess accessories. So it does annoy me that I don't have the boxes to put it in. But what I was thinking was this would be absolutely perfect to take camping. I think what I'm going to do is just put it into um, a Tupper, not a Tupperware, like a Rubbermaid container, a plastic container. And um, then her and I, Winnie and I can do this together. This is something I actually really like to do. Fashion shows is what we call them. <laughs> so when she needs a break from her friends when we're camping, because they can actually start to really annoy each other because um, my foster niece and also my friend's kids, um, they play together, but sometimes they spend a little too much time together. So they need like, just like a break from each other so that they can start to like each other again and not get really annoyed with each other. So when Winnie is ready for her little mommy break, I'm thinking her and I will do this. Like we're going for, I think four nights, I think. So it, it's a long trip this time. So, <laughs> um, anyways, all right. Let's see, okay, well, that sucks. This one's busted. I'm not gonna take everything out of it because I don't want the big mess right now, but I just wanna see what princesses I got. This could be fixed though. Her little hand is a little bit busted, um, but I think that could be fixed. Um, okay, Cinderella, she's looking perfect. It looks like this one's painted on and this is a sticker. So maybe it's just like different, um, makes maybe one's not a melissa and doug one um okay then we have oh i might just throw you know what i think i'm just gonna throw um what's her face in the garbage like what's her face a queen elsa <laughs> actually she's not queen anymore anna's the queen spoiler alert frozen too um anyways i think i'm just gonna get rid of her and we'll just keep cinderella and ariel and mommy's favorite <laughs> bell she's so cute oh i love her hair too it looks like she's got some extensions to add that volume it looks fantastic anyway so i definitely see like so many dresses in here um all kinds of choices there is the elsa dress i don't know am i gonna keep her i'm really not sure i don't think so like no offense elsa but you look put away wet darling <laughs> But let's see if Elsa's dress will fit. See, it won't fit on these ones. So what I'm going to do, don't tell Winnie. I'm going to go through this bag and I'm going to get rid of all of the frozen pieces um, because the dresses are too long. But I might keep like some of the little additional ones just to get rid of the dresses. And this is why I'm happy that I sent her downstairs because if she saw Elsa, she'd be like, no, we have to keep it. I'm the boss, okay? Like, <laughs> even though sometimes around you, I don't act like it. Sometimes I'm like, yes, just go ahead. Because I just don't want to make her upset, okay? She's my third kid. I'm tired. I don't want to cause, like, a friction. I don't want to have any confrontations. I just want everyone to be happy. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> That's how I feel. That is absolutely how I feel. Okay, I'm gonna try on these shorts. I hope so bad that they fit because I'm just into shorts now. I'm into shorts. It's very exciting for me. And I just, I want all of the shorts. So in December, if I'm still wearing shorts, you'll know why. I went 15 years without wearing shorts and now I just wanna wear all the shorts. I just do. I haven't even finished pulling them up. I'm that excited. Oh, <laughs> they're perfect. They're perfect. They even have like more room. Oh, like I probably wouldn't wear them with this tunic sweater, but oh, you guys, can you feel the love?
tonight. <laughs> I don't know why that song came to my head. Oh, probably because of this. <laughs> There's Mater and Lightning McQueen. And look at Mater up there. He needs his buddy. How adorable. Oh, it's like they were always meant to be there. If you're wondering, yes, I moved some toys off of there, or actually, I don't think I moved any toys off of there, but I did move some decor off of there for this shelf over here. The blasted train tracks. I moved these ones over here. I do need a few more. Um, I also had some that were down here that I moved up to there. I'm still, like, I'm not 100% sure of what I'm doing. I think I just need more things. But I also know that I also don't need more things. You know what I'm saying? I know I will get more things. I just don't want to be, like, selfish and buy myself all the things. Because, like, as much as I deserve things, we also don't need things all the time, right? I know it seems like I'm always shopping. <laughs> but that's because I like doing it. So I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's a littlest pet shop ring. Isn't that adorable? Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. I bought a few more balls. Used baseballs? Yeah. How many baseballs does one guy need? I got lots of balls. <laughs> Found you some new pants. Cool. And a new shirt. You like it? Yeah. Cool? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey Jasper. You want a new toy? Sit. Jossie. Sit. Do you want a new toy? Do you want a new toy? Here you go, buddy. There you go. That's for you. You got a new toy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> On, he could play the cabana after Timon every meal. Okay? It's called Timon's Going Hiding. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Where's oh. your toy, Jazz? Hey. <gasps> Cooper took it. It's Cooper. Cooper has it. Oh, no. <laughs> Fake out. You faked me out. I thought you threw it. Get it, Jazz. Oh, we're being mean. Yeah, you got it. That's your toy, Butters. That's your toy. <laughs> I love he it when he does it. that. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I found you some shirts. This one. That's nice. Nice, eh? Yeah. I thought maybe even for soccer next year. Yeah. This one. Nice. You got all these thrift in? Yep. Nice, eh? I like that one more. And this one. I like that one even more. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Super nice. Yeah. I there like you it. go, brah. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and for coming thrifting with me. If you were wondering when did Miranda film this video, because I think Miranda is camping right now. Um, yeah, I'm camping right now and I filmed this on hump day. It's Wednesday, the week before we go away camping. Anyways, I want to make sure that I can still be for be there for my friends every day, even if I'm on the beach somewhere. So you guys will get a full camping vlog when we're back um but i'm still here for you now love you have a good day i love you too oh that's the first time he told you he loves you i hope that made you smile see you guys tomorrow